welcome back to Cruising as Crew. Today, we're going to talk about overcoming a language barrier and like accent barriers. <laughs> so I'm going to start this video by telling you what this is on the back of, why I'm making this video. I'm in the Bahamas training for my new job. It's wonderful. Everyone's so welcoming. I'm having a lovely time. But I am finding the Caribbean accent quite difficult to understand. And I can honestly say I'm, I'm very lucky I've never been in this position before. So, you know, we're in these training sessions and I, I am like, Am I the am I the only one that hasn't that hasn't grasped this? You know, because it looks like everyone else in the room is like, yeah, yeah, got it, got it. And I'm like, I have no idea what the trainer just said. And I'm I'm quite confident, you know, I'm putting my hand up, I'm like, I'm sorry, can you repeat that? Can you repeat that? But there's only so many times that you can ask someone to repeat themselves before you're like, Am I like am I coming off rude now? But at all am, am I stupid? Because I don't know what anyone is saying. So it's been it's been difficult. You know, I consider myself quite a fairly intelligent individual, but um I'm feeling a little bit stupid recently. Just because like I understand I understand what's being told. Like when I get it in paper format and I can read through it, I'm like, oh yeah, of course. But it's the accent. I'm like, I, I just, I'm really struggling to understand it. Anyway, this got me thinking of how many people go on cruise ships, it's their first job, first contract. You know, maybe they're from Spain, Mexico, somewhere in Africa. They speak French, you know, wherever they come from on the continent and they come to an English speaking cruise ship and they have to do all of these like safety trainings and job trainings in English. And obviously everyone has a different accent. You know, if you speak to a, an Italian person speaking English, he's gonna sound very different to a Scottish person speaking English. You know, although everyone's speaking the same language, you know, it all sounds different. I mean, the Caribbean, we're, we're all speaking English, but I, I have no idea. Um, but it basically got me thinking of like, oh my God, this, you know, this happens a lot basically. And there must be so many people who go on a cruise ship, their English isn't, you know, the best. Or even if their English, my English is pretty good. I'm English, but you know, it doesn't actually, yeah, it doesn't matter how good your English is. Like sometimes there is an accent and you're just like, I cannot understand you for the life of me. Uh, some, you know, I think I speak quite clearly, but there's been a lot of you in the comments who are like, I have no idea what you're saying. Fair enough, fair enough. So I just wanted to talk about how to handle it. If you go on a cruise ship, you're sat in these trainings and you're like, I don't know what's going on because especially the safety trainings it's really important that you know what's being said. So the first thing and what I've been doing is getting a friend after the class and be like you need you need to actually explain what just happened in that class to me. So you know especially on a cruise ship, you're most likely going to have a paisano. A paisano is someone who's from the same country as you. You're gonna have someone in that class with you who speaks the same language, is on the same wavelength as you. Maybe you both didn't understand, but the bonus is you either both didn't understand and you at least you've got someone else who's in the same boat as you, <laughs> or she did understand or he did understand and he can explain it to you. So after the class is done, make sure you find someone and just like say, can you please summarize what happened in there? And hopefully they will be able to do that and you'll be like, okay, I got it. It's fine. It's just the accent. I, I understand what's going on, but it was just the accent or the, the language barrier. On the other hand, they might explain it and you'll be like, oh, actually, maybe it's not the language barrier. Maybe I, I don't understand what's going on. Now, the other thing is, 
you can actually you can speak to the teacher so in every training i've ever been in the person taking the training always says if you don't understand me or i am speaking too fast tell me to slow down but obviously you don't want to do that in front of a big group of people because there's always that worry that well what if everyone else is understanding perfectly and i'm the only one that's not i don't want to be the one who will like ask them to slow down Firstly, again, if you're thinking this, someone else in that room is thinking it, I guarantee. But I get it, you don't want to be the one to ask that. I probably wouldn't do it either. What I would do is I would stay behind and I would just say, hey, look, I'm really sorry, but I just couldn't, I couldn't grasp what you were saying. So would you go through it with me again, slowly, or can I please sit in another training that you're doing? Because these trainings that they give, they give them all the time. So you just say, can I please sit in the next training that you're doing on this, which is exactly the same, but could you just speak slower? But do not worry about the lecturer like being offended by this. Like when you work on a cruise ship, you have to accept that not everyone's gonna understand you and no one is going to be offended by you saying, I have no idea what you're talking about. Even if it's the subject you don't understand, it's okay to not understand. So the best thing you can do is have the courage to just go up to them and say, I don't get it. Or you know what, and I have done this in the past, uh, when I was on my last cruise ship, there was an officer with a really thick Italian accent. No shade to him, but I, I had no idea what he was saying. So I went and spoke to the trainer and just said, he is a great teacher, he's very enthusiastic, but I just can't understand the accent. So can I please sit through that training with a different officer, with a different teacher? And I did, and it was fine. So, and no one took offense. It's just, some accents you can get, I mean, I can understand the Scottish accent perfectly, but the Caribbean accent is clearly completely lost on me, whereas, you know, some people would have the opposite problem. So I know it can be really, really frustrating when you're sat in a class and you're like, I don't understand what's going on. And, you know, it can make you feel stupid and you can start thinking like, oh my God, I'm so, I'm such an idiot, like I don't get it or my, oh, my English isn't good enough. You know, you can start doubting yourself, which to be perfectly honest with you, is what has happened to me over the, these last few days. You know, when I've been sat in trainings and I'm like, oh my God, you're so stupid. Like everyone else is getting this and you're not. But then when I spoke to one of the other girls in the class, she was like, I, I have no idea. I was like, oh, thank God, thank God I'm not the only one. So that's why I wanted to make this video for you because I don't want you to sit through these trainings and be thinking, oh, I'm so stupid for not getting it. You're not, it's just the accent and you don't get the accent or the language and that is absolutely fine, but you have to speak up. Everyone can forgive someone for saying, I don't get it, can you explain it again? Or can you speak slower? But if you don't say anything, and pretend that you understand and you've got it and the situation comes where you need to implement the things that you learned in that lesson and you can't, that, that's when you're gonna get in trouble. So it's annoying, it's frustrating that you don't just get it immediately, but as long as you get it at some point, then that's the main thing. So don't beat yourself up make sure you ask questions, make sure you speak to the lecturer, speak to the people that are in that training session with you. I guarantee that there will be someone else in the room thinking exactly the same as you. But yeah, I hope this video helps. And if you do find yourself in that situation, just know that you're not alone. And I have been going through that exact same thing over this past week. But anyway, I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video, guys.